where the fuck is this coming from? Because, uh, yeah. Just breathe, Diane. Just breathe, sister. So much anger and frustration. I'm gonna uh, rewind the timeline. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 so much anger and frustration and like entrapment and where the fuck is this coming from because these meditations are so healing and make me feel so good you know like all the cells of my body are dancing and singing and and so much kundalini runs every day that lifts me up but there's this part of me somewhere that i was even gagging and choking and i don't, I don't know this is what's happening <laughs> like i've been going at this so hard for so long jerry <laughs> so just close your eyes just breathe just be just chill breathe into your belly and just center yourself get focused get relaxed so i'm seeing as soon as you started talking i could see a prison cell um, and the prison is like in a, in a wet, like, um, it's like a stone-like structure. I'm not sure whether it's a castle or a cave or something, but the bars look like they should be housing like a dragon or something. It's like one of those really old fashioned prisons, just bars. And there's something in it. And when I'm looking, I can't see whether it's male or female. It's very dirty, very black. And it's obviously whatever you were in this other reality. And, I, and, and at first I thought you were like some kind of other like being or mythical being or maybe something winged, but you're, you're, you're just, you're, you're a, a human and you've got no clothes on, but you're so dirty. I just can't really see whether you're male or female. So I'm asking, I'm, I'm being told male. Okay, so, and, and you've got really long hair as well. I don't know whether your hair was long anyway, or you've been in this prison cell for a long time. When I ask why you're here, I was told because of control. Could not be controlled. It wasn't you were doing anything wrong, but you couldn't be controlled and subdued and put you you wouldn't be in your place. So you wanted to speak a truth and you wanted to share wisdom and whoever has put you here did not like that. So I'm just gonna go in and just speak to you in this reality. And because you're kind of curled up with your head in your arms and it's freezing cold in this place as well. And you've got no clothes on. I'm just gonna create a fire and warm you up in this reality. And uh, just let you know that I'm here to help in this other lifetime. And ask if there's anything that you'd like to share with me because we're here and this is coming up for a reason. And like, when you look up at me, I see rage in your eyes. Like your eyes are like red, you know, like it's just red rage. And I'm being, I'm, I'm being told your brother, my brother put me here, my brother put me here. So I'm explaining that, you know, even though, you know, you're, you're, you've got the blame on your brother right now, your brother was just playing his part in, in, in the play, his part in the game, his part in the story. And I know it's not been very nice, but we can choose to be here in this pain or we can release ourselves from this. So I'm just asking if there's anything else that I need to do. So, okay, outside of this prison cell, um, I can see like a, a cupboard, okay? In this cupboard, there's a book. There's a book of spells. This is your book of spells. And they use this book of spells for the dark side. They, 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 because, you know, ma magic is magic, right? You can use it for good, you can use it for bad, you know? The force is the force. So I'm getting this book of spells, I'm bringing it back into the prison cell and giving it to you. And you've calmed down now. Like you've literally just simmered because this this is why you were enraged because they were using all these beautiful spells for, for, for ill purposes. We're really calming down now. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, rewind the timeline okay to before you even went into prison okay we're gonna have to go back how, how many years i've been told 17 years okay so we're going back oh my god years <laughs> on this reality. okay i'm just going back to this point okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the reality going forward so you never went to prison and create a whole new piece of code out of this 
So I'm just doing that right now, creating a whole different trajectory on the timeline where you're free and this never happens. So I'm just gonna wrap that up, turn it into cold, turn it into, into light, and I'm gonna just collect it in this USB I've got in my hand. Okay, I'm gonna stick this USB on top of your head and just download the cold now so the frequency's coming in. Just let it run through your body. Just breathe, Diane. Just breathe, sister. Just breathe and let the frequency run through you. And as this frequency runs through you, all of that feeling that you're in prison will just dismantle, just let it flow. And just let your heart open, let yourself expand and become free. And as this is kind of moving through you, I'm just seeing if there's anything else that we need to do. And I'm seeing, okay, a little like blue and purpley colored dragon, a tiny little dragon in the corner. They stole this dragon from you when they put you in prison. Okay, the, the, because we've gone back in time, the dragon is there. I'm just gonna bring the dragon into your space now and just, just bring it in. It's, it's right in front of your body now. So you can reconnect with this dragon again in this reality. This dragon used to advise you and guide you and the dragon's happy to be back with you as well. So just be in this space for a moment. Let your body just kind of recalibrate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Shaky and sweaty and like I haven't slept <laughs> in 17 years. <laughs> I get out of my prison sentence of my marriage in like a month and it's been 17 years. Really? So whatever number you said, it was that number. 17. Yeah. <laughs> You, you know I said in, in that other lifetime, it was your brother that put you into this. It was probably him. <laughs> uh, I was getting my brother, my brother, my brother. Well, the soul of your brother in that reality is the soul of your ex, or soon to be ex-husband in this reality. Yeah. Um, That's why I said, oh my God. <laughs> yeah.